Governor Kedolu, who visited some areas where public and private property were destroyed by hoodlums, said that the arrests and prosecution of those involved in the act would serve as a deterrent to others who may have the intention to commit such crime in future. He assured that a committee will be set up to assess damages and recommend how private individuals affected can be compensated. The Ondo State Governor said some property destroyed by the arid youths include the Okidukba Correctional Center, Court Hall, Secretary of APC and PDP, a police station in Akure, and some property belonging to private individuals. Governor Akire Dolu reiterated his administration's commitment to create job opportunities for youth through entrepreneurship development. The loss of lives in some cases, as well as the mindless destruction of public and private properties in Akure, Ondo, or Okitubupa, to mention a few, cannot receive accolades under any guise. They are totally reprehensible, condemnable, and easily misdirected. We are convinced, beyond any reasonable doubt, that there is more to it than meet the eyes. There is no going back. It's not an issue of amnesty or forgiving, we are, we, are not, we are not forgiving them. Meanwhile, Governor Akredolu has announced that all schools in the state remain closed till further notice. From Akure, the Undo State Capital, Jonah Omowa reporting.